Hi, uh, my name is Beate, Beate Ebert. I'm coming from Germany. Uh, my hometown town is Aschaffenburg. And I would like to take you to this adventure, to this trip to Sierra Leone. I'm so happy to be here again after two and a half years um, where I could not come due to COVID. I tell you, it was a big deal to come here. You need even more papers to come to Sierra Leone, not only a visa, but uh, papers for Brussels, where we went through papers for Sierra Leone, three tests, but we made it. Um, I would like to see what happened in the last two and a half years and how everything developed. And it's huge, you know, it started from nothing in 2010. And from nothing, it went to like really big with big uh, funding organizations and they are funding really great projects. And you will hear about everything. You will see little videos about everything and see photos. And I think it will be very adventurous. So we welcome you with a heart full of joy. So we welcome you with peace and love. Welcome here today. Mommy Alba, we welcome here today with peace. We are so grateful to see you. We are happy. We are so joyful. Thank you for your support, your lovely kindness to us. We are happy. We don't know how to express our joy for you people. We want to say thanks Thank to you. all of you, even you, Mommy Director, for helping us, the girls of Commit and Act Foundation. We are, we, we, you know, some of us are facing some challenges in our homes, but being here is a very grateful thing. That we, you know, it's a blessing to us. We we'll say thank you and we pray God will continue to bless you more and more. <laughs> Here at the gas shelter, Commitment Act Gas Shelter in Bull District, we provide temporary shelter for all abused girls in the district and these girls suffer sexual penetration and other forms of abuse and so they come to the shelter uh, by then being referred by the police which is the fsu the family support unit and also uh, the ministry of gender and children's affairs representative they normally refer these cases to us and also community stakeholders and even girls all girls referring the new girls that they know they've suffered similar uh, problem. When was this built? In 2017. 2017? Yeah, it was finished in 2017. Mm. And how many girls have uh, been here in total, more or less? Over 2,000. Over 2,000, wow. Yeah. Some are pregnant, mm. some are lactating mothers, because some of them came in pregnant. So we do take care of them on to delivery. We also take care of the babies. That's why we have the baby shelter. Welcome oh, wow. to our baby shelter. It's we have the babies and their mothers we sleep. We have two per go. One baby mm -hmm. and the mother, another other baby also. So two babies, two mamas in one bed. We say just office. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we usually give medical treatment to so the babies and even the girls. When they are abused, um, um, almost for all of them, they come in with different infection, STIs, STDs. So we usually provide treatment for them. So sexual abuse or sexual penetration is a very big issue for our country and uh, it is punishable by law. So uh, quite recently, the act has been reviewed, the laws have been reviewed towards that based on the fact that committee and and other partners and even uh, government officials mount up pressure and they have ref re reformed the laws that when you abuse a girl, you go for life imprisonment based on the crime, based on the gravity. And some go for 15 years and above. Even a child, if a child sexually abused another child, is also punishable by law. heading now to meet um, 
parents of one of the girls uh, that who has been part of our Gershwater. And we will see how that conversation goes. <laughs> okay, we can start. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mary. First, thank you again for doing this interview with us. You're welcome. Um, and would you like to introduce yourself uh, to uh, the people who, lis who listen to that video, say your name, um, tell us how old you are, where you are living, um, that would be great. My name is Mary Kamara. I am 28 years old. I live at number 14 Scotland, Hansi Road. It's not really the easy for me as a single mother to raise her up. I understand. Mm. And how come you are a single mom? How did that happen? Well, his father, her father left me when I was pregnant. I don't know his whereabouts. Thank you. That's tough oh. to be left alone, right? Yeah. Pregnant. Uh -huh. And how do you manage to raise your child and to send her to school? It's all expensive here. I managed to raise her up by the help of my little mother. Uh -huh. She's not alive now. Mm -hmm. She's not what? She's not alive anymore? Oh. Uh -huh. okay. After the rape, I was feeling bad. Mm -hmm. I was feeling bad because I was not expecting that would happen to me. So I was sitting alone by myself. And what did you do when you were sitting alone? I was crying. So the girl shelter is a safe place where we cater for these girls, we care for them, we protect them, we give them um, hope where these girls have been restored, their dignity, we also provide all psychosocial support for them. Upon arrival, we take them to the counseling, we have a counseling room, we provide um, food three times per day, we provide um, enrollment, we do document their cases, we also have study session, we have educational support, we have play therapy, because we believe that if we support these girls, they will grow up to be what they want to be in future and identify their values and do what matters to them. So we are encouraging you all to support our work, to continue to be um, um, donors for these girls to create a safe space for them because in Sierra Leone we provide a safe space. Ah!